Today we're going to make a vintage cocktail, the Irish Blackthorn. For this drink, you're going to need a coupe glass, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, a vegetable peeler, a julep strainer, a mixing glass, and optionally, an atomizer. This drink uses Irish whiskey, white vermouth, or optionally dry vermouth, absinthe, aromatic bitters, and a lemon peel for garnish. First of all, this is the Irish version of the drink. There's another blackthorn made with both gin and slow gin. That one is usually referred to as the English blackthorn. And this one, because it's made with Irish whiskey, is known as the Irish blackthorn. This version is similar to the patty cocktail, which is basically an Irish Manhattan, except this one uses a different vermouth. As written in Harry Johnson's Bartender's Manual from 1900, which is where the drink seems to have first been published, it called for French vermouth, also known as dry vermouth. So if you want to make it with dry vermouth, don't let me stop you. However, in the PDT cocktail book, Jim Meehan recommends using white vermouth, also known as Chambéry vermouth, Blanc vermouth, or Bianco vermouth, depending on the brand or where it's made. White vermouth is a key component to the original El Presidente cocktail. According to David Wondrich, white vermouth wouldn't have been available in the States in 1900. But Meehan prefers it in this drink, and historical accuracy aside, I tend to agree. The 1900 recipe is also equal parts whiskey and vermouth. Meehan likes it much better at 2 to 1, whiskey to vermouth. And again, I concur. With this recipe, the vermouth still shines through. At 1 to 1, it's too overpowering. This is a great Manhattan-esque drink. It's bold yet balanced, and hovers somewhere between dry and sweet. In the first couple sips, you'll start to think you haven't added enough absinthe, but then toward the end of the drink, it starts to make itself known. So the drink has some layers, and will always keep you on your toes. Before we get started, we're going to fill up our atomizer. Measure out some absinthe. Unscrew the atomizer, pop in the funnel, and carefully pour in the absinthe. Make sure you use a new atomizer. Do not repurpose an old one that was used for perfume or Windex or something like that. Put the atomizer back together and you're ready to go. Then chill the glass, fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next we're going to measure two ounces of Irish whiskey, add that to the mixing glass, measure an ounce of white vermouth, or dry vermouth if you prefer. Add that to the mixing glass, hit it with two good dashes of aromatic bitters, add ice, and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice and water from your coupe glass. Then coat the glass with absinthe. This is where the atomizer comes in. If you don't have an atomizer, pour a little absinthe in the glass and swirl it around just enough to coat the inside of the glass. Discard the rest. With the atomizer, you want to give the inside of the glass three or four pumps. This will help conserve the costly bottle of absinthe and efficiently coat your glass. Then strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled cocktail glass. Cut a wide swath of lemon peel being careful not to cut into the white pith. Express the oils of your lemon twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there you have it, the Black Thorn, the Irish version. Slancha. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For links, more info, and the printed recipe, check out the description below.